This is a demo video of how to schedule and link to an online office hour at wiziq.com. So here we are in one of my courses for last semester, and this course is in my math lab. But this linking will work in any kind of course management system, because all we're going to do is put an external link in here. So on the left side of the screen, let's go down to the online office. And here you can see the list of office hours that I had for this past semester. And what we're going to do is post a new link in here so that the students can just click on this link and it's going to bring them right over to the WizIQ office hour on the night they want to join in. So let's go ahead and get into WizIQ. And let's see, let me back up to the home page here. Okay, so once you're at WizIQ, if you've never signed in before, it's going to ask you to sign in. And as a teacher, you're going to want to create an account, so username and password. Uh, it's absolutely free for you and for your students, too, and there are no downloads. Your students will have the option of creating an account or just making a screen name for themselves when they show up for the class. So here at the home page, you'll see a Schedule a Class button, so let's go ahead and do that. And title, I usually will put down that it's an online office hour, and I'll put down today's date. And then we have a few choices for date and time. Right now I'm going to set current date and time. So that way we'll be able to hop right into it. We can also schedule a recurring class. And I think I'll try that next semester. I've never tried it before. But I always hold my office hours on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. So I'm just going to schedule them right away for the entire semester. And then I can go ahead and paste all the links into my math lab and be all set for the whole semester. Uh, you can also put in whatever day and time you want here. Keywords and about class, I leave those empty. And who can attend? Only those whom I invite because I only want my students to join in. If you leave it public, anybody in WizIQ could join in. And I say yes for record the class. That way, any student, whether or not they were at the office hour, can click on that link that was in my math lab and they can view a past recording of an office hour if they want to. And uh, let's see, allow the attendee to enter without sign up. I put yes for that, and the reason why is it's just um, a smoother transition for the student. If they want to, all they have to do is click on the link for the for the office hour and create a screen name. They don't have to make an account at WizIQ if they don't want to. Now, if they do want to do that, or if you just want to put a no here that they have to sign up, um, that's fine. All they need to do is make a username and a password. So it's actually not a big deal for them anyways, but I always just put yes here. And for more information, set class fee. I leave that at zero. Class duration, even though my office hour is one hour, I leave extra time for setting up and also in case we run over. I leave maximum attendees. Um, I've never had more than three students at once, and usually there's going to be one, maybe two, and sometimes zero. So you don't have to really worry about too many students showing up. And show attendees on class page, yes, because I definitely want to see the screen name or the username, so I know what to call the student. And language of instruction, just leave it. Class type, I only do audio. You can also have your webcam being shown if you want to. Um, just know that it can slow down the transmission if you are doing streaming video. And I don't do branding, so I schedule and continue. And now I have access to the class link. So on the right here, you'll see a launch class. So you could just launch a class right away. So this is one way to access the class. You can also launch it from your home page in WizIQ. But what I'm going to do is get the class link. And we're going to put the link into my math lab. That way the students can access the class. And we can just jump right in from there also. So control C. And then we go back to my math lab. And right now we're already in the online office hour section of the course. So I'm going to go to the top right, edit, choose external link. And in the URL field, I'm going to control V. And that pastes in the link we just copied. And we'll call this the 526 2011 office hour. 
I don't usually put a description. The only thing I do is right down here, open in a new window, yes, and submit. And usually I'll um, also reorder it so that, actually let's go ahead and reorder it, because right now the link we just added is at the bottom. And I want that to be closer to the top. Oh, I forgot to look at what position I want it to be at. I think number four. Let's try that and see what happens. Nope, we want it to be number three. I want it to be the first office hour showing up because it's the most current. There it is, 526 2011 office hour. We can go up to the top right here and click display to see the student view again. And now we can hop right into the office hour. And here we are at WizIQ. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the class. Here your student would see a choice to either sign in and create an account or just make a screen name. And then they can have a choice of join the class. And we're going to launch the class. And I write with a bamboo pen tablet. It's a Wacom tablet. Um, also you can use a tablet PC if you want to. First thing you need to do is allow WizIQ to see uh, your microphone, your webcam if you're using one, your bamboo tablet, and all those things. So I click allow. Then I always check to make sure the microphone's working. So device settings. You can kind of tell it's working right up here because you can see kind of like little lines in the microphone when I'm talking. But just to make sure, device settings. And it might be at the default setting when you first try it, which is the Realtek audio input for my computer. Um, not really sure what that means, but it's not seeing the right microphone because there's no bar here moving around. So then you want to choose the other option, and that's the external mic I have plugged in. So I'll apply that setting and OK. And that's all set, so I can hide the settings. And now we're ready to go. So what you'll see is up on the top right you'll see the usernames or the screen names of the students in your class and um, down here in the chat field you'll see what they're typing in. Most of them do not use microphones. Actually I've never had a student that uses a microphone except one who had a microphone on her laptop but she said her kids were really loud so she didn't want to use the microphone. So usually what they say is um, you know hi I'm stuck on 5.2 number 3. Because, um, you know, when they join in, I, I ask them, you know, um, hi, Judy, what are you stuck on tonight? And um, and then I know that they're working in my math lab. So they tell me exactly what problem and section in my math lab. So I have it open on a different screen or on a split screen. And I'm in the grade book, and I can get that student's exact problem that they're working on. So now we can um, go ahead and solve it out. So if Judy was stuck on a linear equation, I would go ahead and talk through the equation. And usually what I do after that is I'll do a similar exercise in the gradebook in my math lab, and it'll generate a new problem. Oops, didn't mean to start solving it there. It will generate a new problem, and I'll ask her to go ahead and solve it herself and let me know either if she's stuck or if she has the answer. And there's a lot of good choices over here on the side. If you want to make a graph, you choose the graph grid. Put a grid wherever you want. You can also, at the top of the tabs, you can toggle for a complete grid view if you want. Or turn it off. You can name the tab with um, the student's name. And then when another student shows up, so let's say we got Ken showing up now. Then I can work with Ken, and Judy will know that I'm working with Ken temporarily. Then I'm going to hop back and keep working with Judy's problem afterwards. So good luck with your online office hours. And if you have questions, you can uh, contact me through my YouTube channel. And those of you who have my personal or work email can also contact me that way.